we're going to continue our work with renaming numbers. Let's look at this section of our screen. We're going to drag large cubes and flats from the dispenser to the box to model 1200. So we're going to take our cube to model 1000 and we're going to take our flats and we're going to model 200. So this model is going to show us 1,200. We have used one cube and two flats to model that 1,200. One large cube and two flats. Another name for 1,200 is we have 1,200. We have shown what base 10 blocks to use, one large cube, two flats, to name this number as 1,200. Now we're going to regroup to use only flats to model 1,200. So when I regroup, I am going to take this cube and change it into flats. And if you remember from class, we did a lot of work with regrouping using our base 10 blocks. So I need to convert this cube into flats. And I'm going to have to use 10 of them in order to do that. So I'm going to take these hundreds and I'm going to put 10 of them here. All I need to do is regroup. Now I have the number 1,200, but I have shown it in a different way. Now the model shows us that we have a total of 12 flats. And another name for 1,200 is 1,200. Now, let's continue on with more work on this. We can also use a place value chart to help us rename numbers. We're going to look at this number, 500,000. We can see that it is in our place value chart. and We have the ones period and we have our thousands period. And each period has ones, tens, and hundreds within each of them. So let's look at the number 500,000. Let's see how we can rename this number. We are going to See, how many hundred thousands can we get from five hundred thousands, okay? So if we look at this section of our place value chart, we can easily see that there are five hundred thousands. So this is what we need to, this is what we need to make sure that we have here. So this is going to be five hundred thousands. Let's try that again using our place value chart. Now we want to look at our ten thousands. How many ten thousands is five hundred thousands? If we focus on this section of our place value chart, we can see that we want to focus in the ten thousands place. And this is the number that we see in the ten thousands place, the five and the zero. So that's fifty. So it's going to be fifty ten thousands equals five hundred thousands. We can try that again. And we're going to see a pattern as we continue on. Now I want to know how many thousands is 500 thousands. Another way to rename this number. If I look in the thousands place, here's my thousands place within the thousands period. So I'm focusing on this section of the number. And I can see that I see 5, 0, and 0 here. So that number is going to be 500. So I need to be saying that there is 500 thousands in 500,000. Let's try it again. Now we want to look at how many hundreds is that. So we're looking at the hundreds right in here. We're looking at this part of the number here all the way to the hundreds. And I can see that there are one, two, three zeros. So I need to ignore this comma right here. And I need to put it in the, in the correct place to see that it's going to be 5,000 right here. So it's going to be 5,000 hundreds 
is going to equal 500,000. How many tens is that? Well, I need to look at my chart and look at the tens place. And I can see if I'm focusing on this part of the number, and I'll go back my places, I have one, two, three zeros, my comma will be inserted here. So this is going to be 50,000 tens is going to be equivalent or equal to 500,000. So these are all the ways, these are ways that I can rename this number. And then we get down to the ones. We're looking at the entire number, and we can see that that is 500,000 ones is the same as 500,000. So these are all the ways that we can rename the number 500,000 using a place value chart and that really does help us with renaming numbers. Now let's write 3200s on the place value chart and we want to write 3200s in standard form. So if I need to focus on the number 3200s, well I am going to put that number where it would fit. The three is going to go in the ones place but in the thousands period and the two in the hundreds place in the ones period so that's 32 and then I have my two zeros for my hundred so I am going to be able to say that this number 3200 is going to look like this and this is going to be the same number as 30 uh, as 3200 so it's 3200 so when I write 3200s in standard form I am going to write the numbers out, 3,200, when I write it in standard form, and that is the same number as 3,200. We can also use pictures to help us with renaming numbers, and if we're drawing our base 10 blocks, that gives us a good picture of renaming numbers. So if I look at this number, 150, I need to figure out how many tens that is. If I drew a flat and one, two, three, four, five longs or rods, I have represented this number 150. But what I want to show is the tens. So that means I am going to have to regroup. So I need to regroup this 10, and I need to make this, regroup this into tens, this flat into tens. And I know that I need 10 longs or rods to make a flat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And when I do that and I have ten that I've regrouped plus the five that I've already had, now I have fifteen tens. And fifteen tens is the same as a hundred and fifty. I have renamed that number. Let's try another one. Let's look at this, 1,400. We want to know how many hundreds that is. So if I use a picture, and I am going to draw that out again, I know that I can use my cube as my thousand, and then four flats for 400. But I want to know the hundreds. So I am going to have to regroup this thousand. I'm going to have to show that I've regrouped that thousand. And I know that I need to have ten flats in order to make a thousand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. And so the 10 that I made plus the 4 that I already had, that's going to give me 14 of these. So now I can say that 1,400 is also 1,400. And that helps me to rename the numbers a different way. I want you to try this next one. 1300s is blank thousand, blank hundreds. Pause the video and try to see if you can figure that one out on your own and record that in your journal. So, how'd you do? Check your work and see if you have something that looks similar to this. Now try this one. 580 equals blank tens. Pause the video 
and work this out in your journal as well. Did you have to think hard about this one? I decided to use the place value chart because the place value chart for this one is a little more prevalent to what I need to do. This would take a long time, too much work for me. I would have to convert all of these hundreds into tens until I got 58 tens, and I did not want to write 58 tens. However, we definitely could if we needed to. So I just put uh, a place value chart, drew a quick one. 580, I focused on the tens because that's what we're looking for. So now we have 58 tens. That is going to let us know that that is what we need to put for our answer. Now read this word problem and work this out in your journal. Make sure that you remember to do your whisk and also send me a note on that moto that says, Ms. Clemens, I have watched the video. We will talk more about this problem in class tomorrow.